Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. So the first card is the rose, which says there is romance in the air. So some new relationship coming in for you. You might be dealing with an older woman. So this is dealing with an, uh, uh, dealings or a relationship with an older woman. And then you've got the teapot card uh, crowning it, which says a deep friendship with someone of the same sex. So this is a good friendship that is coming in as well. So there is a, um, you know, a romance as well as a very good friendship that you're going to be experiencing soon. Um, in the past, you've got uh, dealings with a younger woman, and uh, it might have involved somebody in the family. So some kind of family matter or some kind of family issue involving a younger member of the family. And it was female. And then you've got a lion, which is, says time to act. So time to take control of that situation and start putting your ideas into action. And then you've got the crib, which says birth and conception of a child or an enterprise. So this is the new beginning of something, a change coming in for you here. Um, uh, new beginnings. This could be, you know, the new beginnings of a long-term relationship um, or even a long-term friendship with this teapot card um, preceding it. So something brand new coming in as far as uh, relationships go. So those are the energies for that week. Oops. So I'm using the uh, Tarot Everyday Enchantment Tarot for the main read. I have shuffled this deck. So at the bottom of the deck, you've got the King of Cups, and this is your card. And, you know, you could be a father and dealing with a lot of your children, um, you know, sorting out family issues here, uh, or sorting out some issues to do with your um, your children. Um, you know, maybe, they, maybe they, there are some problems that are going on or some uh, something that they need that you have to take care of. Now, the King of Cups is also, you know, if you don't have any children, this could be even getting some advice or some support from somebody that is... Um, you know, very, very, uh, uh, well, emotionally supportive. But this could also be getting some kind of professional advice, in the, you know, in the form of medical advice or, or something where you need to go and see a doctor about uh, things because the King of Cups is also that deals with medicine or it deals with the health uh, issues <coughs> and where you need to get some professional advice about any kind of issue that you're dealing with. All in all, this is your card, so, you know, you are sorting through problems, and you are in your element, you are acting as that, um, you know, you, the scorpion that you are, and you're taking control of that situation, so you're very, very much in charge of things, and, you know, a very supportive person as well, and, uh, you know, you're almost at the height of your intuition as well with this King of Cups, so, um, you know, um, taking control and taking your power back. So... Um, What's happening with you? It seems like, you know, whatever family issues you have been dealing with, with the Ten of Cups, uh, those problems are getting resolved or getting sorted out. And, you know, the worst is behind you now if you were dealing with any kind of family issues or any kind of emotional problems. The worst is behind you right now and you are now looking to the future. There's more security coming in for you. Um, you know, you might be dealing, as I said, with your children or family because there's children in both these cards over here. So there might be some issues to do with your children, um, you know, um, some support issues that uh, um, coming to light and you are dealing with that at the moment you've got the queen of blades over here so you you know this is about being very determined to get things done and taking control of that situation um, being very supportive as well so whatever issues you were dealing with you are now uh, you know almost um um 
the Queen of Blades is somebody who has gone through a lot of problems and has come out of it and has n learned how to deal with the difficult situation. So you've put the problems behind you. You are now determined to make plans for the future. Now, with this Queen of Blades, you've got a lot of medical certificates over here. So if you're dealing with any kind of health issues, because the King of Cups also deals with health issues, uh, you are trying to get that sorted out as well. Um, so, uh, you know, you might be needing um, to consult um, some kind of specialist as well, and you're dealing with that kind of problem. But whatever it is get sorted out because it's the ten of cups whatever health issues you're having all of that gets sorted out and you are able to move on as well as far as that goes so in the past year you've got the wheel of fortune so things have been turning or changing for you in a big way um you know you have um overcome a lot of problems and uh you know things are, have started to move for you you've got the queen of wands over here so this could have been uh you had dealings with a, a fire sign person or which would be aries leo or sagittarius and you may have had um you know there may have been control issues or a struggle, power struggles going on with this particular person um on the other hand it's you taking your control back as well you can see that she's leading this orchestra so you know you're taking control or taking charge if you've been in a situation where you have been disempowered empowered it seems like that control is coming back in your hand again and this is why you're becoming the king of cups so you know not the queen of cups but the king of cups so you're taking that ultimate control and you've got a lot of support around you there's a lot of loyal people your family is really supportive of you or becoming more supportive of you and you are taking control of the situation now also this queen of cups it's also you being in the limelight so having victory over situations and also being in the limelight um, as far as things go. Now, there's some kind of decision that you need to make, but you really are not um, prepared to make that decision right now. It might be some kind of legal decision that is uh, coming to, to light here because the swords usually deal with legal issues that um, uh, are going on. Now, you can see there are two people fighting the background of here. So there might have been a legal dispute that you've been involved in, and um, you know that um, a decision needs to be made about that, but you really don't want to make that decision. It seems you see she's refusing to make a decision and she's refusing to see things so there might be some information that you're missing because you don't really want to delve into it maybe it's too emotional or maybe it's making you unhappy and therefore you're you're avoiding the issue right now um, and you don't really want to get involved anymore in that kind of dispute so something going on around you that you don't really want to get involved in at the moment Maybe it's having some kind of effect on your health. It might be some kind of family issue. You just want it to end and you want to move on with it. So going into the future, uh, you've got the hanged man over here. So this is about things being, you know, being stuck in a particular situation and feeling like there's no movement at all. Um, you know, you're waiting for something to come uh, come in and, uh, you know, things feel a bit upside down to you here, um, you know, and uh, you're a bit frustrated because things are not moving for you. You've been putting out a lot of communication. It seems you've been contacting, uh, maybe, you know, it could be a job situation. It could be even a family situation, but things don't seem to be moving on. And uh, you seem, you feel as though you're stuck in that particular situation. <clears throat> now, what's going on with you? You've got the Ace of Wands over here. So something brand new is going to start for you. You've got the sunrise over here and this blank canvas. So it looks like you're going to put putting all these past problems and dramas behind you and you are going to be starting something brand new. You've got a new vision, new insight. You want to do something brand new. Maybe a new opportunity coming your way so that you can start afresh. Uh, this could even be something, uh, you know, that involves travel because the wands cards always involve some kind of overseas travel. So maybe a new a job coming out somewhere where you need to travel to go and do it or some kind of new enterprise coming that involves some kind of international communication but something brand new uh, where you can put your mark on it so that's coming in for you and whatever you're going to be doing you're going to be very very victorious in it you've got the six of wands after going many you know this woman's jumping over all these hurdles over here so after going through many obstacles there it looks like there's going to be uh, you know a victory for you so whatever problems uh, that you're going through uh, you know even if you're feeling stuck it seems like things are going to start moving especially with the wands cards and it seems like you're going to be very victorious in whatever it is that you're have started you're still very worried uh still very anxious with this nine of blades so you know this is unnecessary anxiety you're expecting the worst case scenario and there's no need for that because it looks like you are going to be victorious so what's going on in the future you've got the five of coins the knight of wands and the four of coins so the five of coins is uh you know having gone through a very very difficult period where there's lack loss there might have been health issues uh, you left out in the cold excluded from things uh things are about to change you can see this woman's winning in the lottery here so it looks 
looks like money will be coming to you. So whatever problems that you've been going through financially, that will resolve itself. And you've got the Knight of Wands. So this looks like, you know, you're taking that power and control back in your life. The Knight of Wands is also moving off to go and do a job somewhere else. It's also a lot about travel. So it looks like, you know, that is coming in as well. There's all, a lot of communication and news coming in and a lot of transformation. And it's going to make you very, very happy. So you need to take that leap of faith and you need to go for it as well. Because it looks like, um, you know, that energy is shifting and it seems like a lot of power is coming back into your hands again. You're still very, very worried about money. Uh, you know, it's on your mind. You have excluded yourself a little bit, isolated yourself from everybody else. You're watching your money very, very carefully and uh, you're hanging on to it uh, quite tightly as well. Also hanging on to your security quite tightly as well. But it looks like things are going to change. Money is going to be coming in your way. So those financial problems will um, you know, start uh, resolving themselves and you are going to be victorious in whatever projects or enterprises you're doing. So, you know, um, this is hanging on to things, keeping on to your security, but this new venture comes in over here that looks like it's going to be shifting things and bring in, um, you know, bring in a big change in your life. Uh, very soon. So the end of emotional problems or difficulties here, and it looks like things are going to start moving on for you, and there's going to be a lot of victory for you as well. A positive change coming in. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the um, Angel Tarot, and it says the Awakening is the first card, which is uh, look at things from a different perspective, a temporary standstill, and uh, it is important to be yourself. So you are going through an energy of being stuck in a particular situation, uh, you know, feeling like you're making sacrifices because this is the same as the hanged man over here, the awakening card, and you are feeling very stuck at the moment and you have isolated yourself. Maybe you're focusing on something, um, you know, to do with work. Um, it says spend time in quiet meditation, spiritual teaching and self-discovery. So, uh, you know, this hermit card is about, you know, concentrating and focusing on your health, but also, um, you know, spending a lot of time by yourself, doing a lot of research. And maybe that's what you're doing right now, because things seem to be pretty much at a standstill. But then you've got this Ace of Fire, which is the same as that Ace of Wands over here, which says an exciting new opportunity, career advancement, a change, uh, change uh, life a change in life now, sorry. <laughs> so it looks like things are going to start moving for you. You've got two Ace of Wands over there. So a brand new enterprise coming over here and uh, things are going to start moving. So you'll be able to make your mark on something um, and start some brand new venture coming in. So all the things are stuck with this Hanged Man card appearing twice over here. It looks like things are about to change or things are about to shift because a brand new opportunity or venture is being offered to you and you're going to be able to get over all these difficulties that you've been going through you know in your family life it seems like that is the thing that has caused you to um you know uh, be depressed or be anxious and with this queen of wands it's taking control and you know sorting things out and as far as health issues it seems like those resolve because energy is coming back into you with this ace of fire the ace of wands so some you know recovering from any kind of stress related illnesses but also um, you know managing to get out there and change things around so it looks like you know you there's a turn as far as financial um uh, endeavors go but also the whole energy of being stuck now moves because the ace of fire comes in or the ace of wands comes in for you to bring in this new change so i hope that this reading has resonated with you please don't forget to like share subscribe leave me some comments if it has thank you so much for watching take care now goodbye